explain to me the difference between daytime and nighttime. In daytime it's light out and the nighttime is dark. What causes the day to be light and the night to be dark? Uh, in the daytime the sun's out and then at night it disappears so it's dark. What causes the sun to disappear? Where does it go? Well, the sun sets, so that means it goes down, and it moves around the earth, and moves to another place where we can't see it anymore. So the other side of the earth can see it. So then it would be daytime over there. So you're saying that the sun moves around the earth. Tell me more about that. Yeah, it moves around the earth every day, which is why we have day and night, and that's why we can see the sun traveling across the sky during the day. Hmm. What about the earth? How does it move? The earth moves around the sun. Hmm. Explain to me how the earth goes around the sun and the sun goes around the earth. Yes, um, well, um, the sun, um, how about you draw it out for me? Okay, sure. So this is the sun. Earth and the sun moves around the earth and the, the earth um, it doesn't work. What doesn't work? The sun and the earth, I can't get them to move around each other at the same time. I'm going to tell you something. For our purposes, the sun is stationary, which means it does not move. Oh, uh, that makes more sense. So, if the sun is stationary, then how do we still have day and night? I don't know. Let's try this. Could you hold this for me, please? Yes. Yeah. We're going to pretend that the flashlight is the sun. Now we just learned that the sun is stationary, which means it does not move. So I'm going to hold the flashlight in place and shine it down on the earth. What do you notice is happening? Well, the light is shining on this side of the earth, so it's kind of like daytime. What about the other side of the earth where the light does not touch? What's happening there? Well, that would be like daytime, or nighttime, because the light isn't shining on there. Okay, so if the sun doesn't move, how do we get the other side of the earth to have daytime? What did you just do there? I turned the earth so that the light would be shining on this side of the earth. So if you were standing on this side of the earth, what just happened? Well, I would have started in the light, and now it's dark, which is like nighttime, so I went from daytime to nighttime. So, using that logic, how many times do you think the earth spins around in every 24 hour day? Well, there's 24 hours in a day, so half of the 24 hours is daytime and half is nighttime. So I would say that the Earth is spinning around one time every 24 hours. So this gets day and night. So, from what we now know about the Earth spinning, why does it look like the sun is moving across the sky during the day? I don't, I'm not sure. Let's try.
try this. Let's see if we can figure this out. We now know that the Earth spins, so we are going to simulate this spinning by using the sit and spin. Can you sit on the sit and spin for me, please? Yes. We are going to pretend that you are the Earth. Cup your hands around your eyes like this. You are going to look straight ahead, and I am going to spin you around very slowly. The flashlight is going to be like the sun, and we now know that the sun is stationary, so the flashlight is not going to move. Now I want you to take notice of what happens to the sun while I spin you. See the sun? Can't see the sun. Can't see the sun. So tell me more about what just happened. I can see day and night. I can see the sun is stationary because the flashlight isn't moving. It's like I'm the earth and I'm spinning, which creates daytime, nighttime. I am going to spin you around again. And this time, tell me when it appears that the sun is rising and when it appears that the sun is setting. Take notice of what happens in between sunrise and sunset as well. The sun looks like it's rising. Now the sun looks like it's setting. Okay. What did it look like the sun was doing in between sunrise and sunset? From my view, it looked like the sun was moving across the sky. And why was that happening? Because I was spinning. Tell me more about that. The sun stays in one place, so the sun isn't actually moving across the sky. It just looks like it. The sun stays put, but... The earth is spinning around over the course of a day. So sometimes you're facing the sun and sometimes you aren't because of the earth spinning. I now know that the sun looks like it moves across the sky during the day because of the spin of the earth and the sun actually doesn't move at all. Our student was able to figure out that the reason the sun looks like it is moving across the sky during the day is actually because of the Earth's rotation. We used questioning, concrete examples, and two activities to help the student understand the concept.